Hey guys, I've been seeing a lot online and stuff like that about people asking questions about coming through the mountains and if it's safe to drive through the mountains and stuff like that. So we thought we spent a lot of time driving through the mountains. We might as well give a little bit of suggestions. Not rules, not guidelines, none of that. Just some suggestions on some things that help us when we're towing through the mountains. One of the most important things, slow down. It, the corners are sharp. It takes a lot to get to the top of the mountains and coming down. Just slow down. It'll make getting through the mountains a lot easier. They are not that dangerous if you just slow down. It, it's that easy. Second thing, a lot of people have more trailer than their truck should tow. And when you're out in the flatlands of, let's say, Nebraska, you probably never really have a problem unless you maybe get in a windstorm or whatever. But you will find out your truck's capabilities when you're pulling up a mountain. Right now, we are towing up over Wolf Creek Pass here in Utah. Uh, we're going to get up to like 9,000 foot elevation, climbing from about 6. Well, when we left home, we're like 5,000 foot. We have a lot of climb and we don't worry about it because we made sure we got a truck capable of pulling the weight up a hill. And a lot of what people don't realize with their tow vehicles and pulling, yeah, they say they can handle the weight, but it does come down to the rear end of the vehicle. The gear ratios in the back really make a difference when you are towing up or down hills. Um, the larger trucks, you usually get the little bit lower gear ratios, the 373, a 410, those sort of things. Uh, a lot of the diesel trucks now, to increase gas mileage, have started going to a higher rear end, like a 355 or a 343, those sort of things, and it does make a difference when you're towing in the mountains. So make sure that you're taking that into account. Your GMC Arcadia um, is not going to be the best towing in the mountains. Even though it says it has a payload of whatever, it the gear ratios, the transmission, all those sort of things are going to have issues. Another uh, key that we like to use when we're towing in the mountains is I like to keep an eye on my gauges. I watch to make sure my temperatures aren't getting too hot, um, all those sort of things, especially my transmission temperature and my coolant temperatures. And the first few times your fan kicks on when you're towing up a mountain in the high heat, which it's June here in Utah, when we left home it was 90, we're climbing the mountain now and we're at 76 degrees, your fan's gonna kick on. That's a good thing, you want your fan to kick on to cool your truck down or your tow vehicle down, whatever it is. A lot of people, when that fan kicks on, they don't know what, what's going to happen with that or it's making a weird noise or whatever it's your fan and some of the newer vehicles like this truck has multiple fans so if it really is towing up a big hill in the heat it gets loud um and Kara several times has looked over at me like what's that and it's just the fans doing what they're supposed to do we like to make sure that we are uh i don't know how to explain it but when you drive in the mountains you have to drive the truck you have to control the speed, you have to control the throttle, and you do that not necessarily um, as easily as you would typically going down the freeway, all that sort of stuff. You're using your throttle a lot. As I approach a hill, I'll start to give it the gas and get the transmission to shift down to get the RPMs right where I want them so that it's in its peak range to pull that hill without dropping speed because a lot of times you wait too long and you hit the hill and then all of a sudden you're dropping gears and it drops down too many gears and you're revving, you know, way high RPM and it sounds like your vehicle's going to explode. Um, so if you can just put your foot into it a little bit earlier, get it to drop a gear, get those RPMs up before you hit the hill, it'll help pack you up the rest of the hill without dropping power to the point that your transmission's dropping down several times as you start up the hill. Many vehicles have tow haul modes. Always try to use those when you're towing in the mountains especially. We turn ours on whenever we hook onto the trailer. Uh, it, it changes, um, oh, what's it called? The, the torque converter. So it enables your transmission to shift differently than it would 
just when you're regularly driving it. And it really helps you when you're climbing the hills. If you're struggling climbing the hill and you're starting to build up traffic behind you, don't stop on a steep incline to let the traffic pass. Get to a flat spot because you, it's very difficult to get going again. And you're going to build up more traffic behind you. Find a flat spot, a safe place to pull out. Let the people pass on by. As you can see, this truck right here is pulled out in a... They build this nice little passing spot. He's not overheating by any means or anything. I mean, he was flying up the hill earlier. I think he's just looking for somebody. But it's a nice spot where he can pull out and then get back on the road safely without causing any traffic issues. A mistake that we've made before is we've just figured our cell phone GPS's would get us wherever we need to go. That would never have any issues, any of that sort of stuff. When you're in mountainous areas, you can't trust those. Get an atlas, that way you can see where the road starts, where the road ends, what type of road it is, all that sort of stuff, or else you will get sent on the wrong road and end up in a bad situation. I think one of the, um, I guess, scariest parts people find of towing in mountainous areas is coming downhill. You'll find out real quick if your vehicle is capable of handling your trailer that you're towing as you descend a nice downhill area. There's a few things you can do to help out. Don't just ride your brakes down the whole way. That's going to put yourself in a bad position because your brakes are going to get hot and they will fail on you. If your truck has a tow haul mode, it should help hold you back as you descend. A lot of them, they're electronically programmed, so you touch the brake and you let off, and it should start using the transmission to try slowing you down. The newer diesel trucks have... Oh, there's a deer. Um, sorry, got a little distracted by the deer. That's one of the great things about being in the mountains. All right, back to it. Um, the newer diesel trucks have exhaust brakes built into them. Some people call them Jake brakes. Some people say they aren't Jake brakes so they don't go through like an, on a big semi truck, all that. I don't care. It, exhaust brakes, engine brakes, whatever you want to call them. And they will use your transmission brake, but also they will send the exhaust back through the turbo system to increase your compression to help hold you back, which makes a huge difference as you descend a hill. Like right now, I'm not touching the brakes or anything and we're coming down a six to seven percent grade and it's slowing me to the point that I'm gonna have to push the gas. Now I know not all vehicles have this. If you are driving a truck that doesn't have an exhaust brake or even a transmission brake of some sort, some things that you can do is you can drop a gear manually. You can pull your truck down a gear or your tow vehicle, suburban SUV, whatever it is, Tow it, pull it down a gear and use your transmission that way to help hold you back. Then with using that and your brakes, you can descend very easily. As always, try to keep it slow. Um, the corners come very quickly, especially when descending. You don't notice them as much when you're climbing, but when you're descending, those corners can be very hazardous. Your trailer's gonna wanna push because of gravity. And if you aren't able to hold it back and your vehicle's not heavy enough, that trailer's going to push you off of the ledge or whatever else is making you take that corner. Use your brakes, your transmission, your engine, all that together to make it a safe journey down. When you set up your trailer brakes, they should brake at the same rate as your truck or your tow vehicle's trailer brake, or your truck's brakes. So it shouldn't be that it's grabbing more or less or anything else. If you feel like your brakes are grabbing too much, don't be afraid to pull over, let them cool off, then start again. Um, a lot of mountain roads have pullouts, just like when you're climbing up them to, as you're coming down, to pull over, let your brakes cool. Don't try to just push through it. Sometimes you can smell your brakes. Roll down your window, give it a little sniff, and find out. Don't get worried if people are tailgating you. 
You have to worry about you getting down the mountain safely. Just take your time. I can't stress enough how taking your time can make a huge difference. These are just some things that I do as I tow through the mountains, and we tow a lot of mountains out here, and I hope these suggestions can help you out. If you're a newbie to mountain driving, it's not that difficult. It sounds worse than it is. Just, you know, follow a few of these and it should help you out. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully these suggestions help. Stay safe in your travels, and if you like the channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all those sort of things. Leave a comment below if there are certain things that you do to help when you're towing through the mountains. And above all else, enjoy your weekend. Thanks.